and I'm indeed delighted to be here. And thanks, Nishant, Uday, all of uh, people who are here. And my presentation will become shortest, I guess, and many more people, because I come here to learn. I come here to see some of the celebrities like uh, <clears throat> John D. So let me begin saying that my topic is mental strength versus physical strength. Now, all of you are here for the last one and a half hours are mentally strong, listening to all of us, I hope. And I want to test all of you, saying that, are you physically strong enough? Can we do a small 30-second exercise saying that, join me, coming with both uh, this one, get up and off squat. Can you all of you get up so that, you know, rather than just like that, John D, uh, is here. OK. <laughs> just 30 seconds, just come down. Half a knee, as much as you can, just go down, relax, count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please get up. Very good. All of you physically fit. Okay? <clears throat> so, as a sportsman, it would be more appropriate for me to win a medal, participate in any of the international competition, rather than coming and speaking and sharing some of the, in <coughs> the experience that I have gone through. However, the need of our today is sharing the experience, gaining knowledge. Okay. Where do I fit in? Lot of cricket, physios, and you know, nutrition, knee specialists, and other things. I come how a sportsman to be mentally fit physically fit, and both can be, you know, play an important role to win a medal or represent the country in the future years to come, or the years that which is going by. So I'm going to give you a small clip. Since I'm an athlete, a lot of things have gone through, you know, cricket, cricket, cricket. I love cricket. You know, yesterday I watched the cricket match, which India won. So I'm going to sp give you 1972 Olympic gold medalist. I'm going to show you a video for one minute. Okay, how he can be mentally fit to win the gold medal 1972. And we have the <coughs> go yeah yeah this video. Can you play this, please? Like, can we have a sound? No. Since there's no sound, okay, I want you all to watch the man who coming last with a cap called Mr. David from USA. Is there any problem? His teammates gone on the inside of the two Kenyans lead. It's Mike Boyd leading for Kenya. In second place is Uko of Kenya. Right up on the outside is Andy Carter, who's got such a positive and bold attitude. 100 meter final. Arginoff of Russia, lane one. Dieter from East Germany, lane two. Watler's in lane three. Lane four, Uko, the Commonwealth champion from Kenya. Lane five, Carter, Great Britain. Lane six, Kemper of West Germany. Lane seven, Mike Boyd of Kenya. And lane eight, Kupchik of Poland. And Arginoff has gone off very quickly and now slows down to make sure of the position. And coming right across from the outside is Mike Boyt, the Kenyan 1,500-meter runner. And Uko, his teammates, gone on the inside of the two Kenyans lead. It's Mike Boyt leading for Kenya. In second place is Uko of Kenya. Right up on the outside is Andy Carter, who's got such a positive and bold attitude towards the two-lap race. And right at the back is Dave Watt, who got left way, way behind. Still the two Kenyans with the Britain up there in front. And it's Uko now coming up to take it up. And Boyd holds the curve. Uko right alongside him. The Kenyans running shoulder to shoulder, making the rest go wide. Andy Carter there at the bell, 52.3 the time, a modest time in many ways. And Dieter from East Germany goes up the long way on the outside. It's still the Kenyans, Boyd and Uko lead. Running absolutely stride for stride and shoulder to shoulder. 
Uko there on the curb, Boyd on the outside. Dieter Fromm going up now to third place, and Arzinov, the European champion, comes through for the back for Russia. Arzinov now hits the front for the two Africans. With Dieter Fromm going as well, and Watson's improving all the time, and Carter next to last. 200 metres left. It's still the Russian Arzinov leading. And coming up on the outside now is Uko, the Commonwealth champion. The European champion versus the Commonwealth champion, and Boyd is there, and the American there too. Arzinov kicks the home. This we call it, and I know you all may agree, may not agree, I may, we have better examples also. This is called mental toughness, mental you know, strength. The man who was last of the first 400 meters, 600 meters, still determined to win a gold medal 1972. This is an example that we show to people, uh, our sportsmen, and inspiring how if you are mentally strong, how you can win a medal. Okay. Now, the same way, I'm also going to show you how physically if you are strong. And one of the races, 2018 Asian Games, that Manjit Singh won a gold medal for India, how physically he has played the role. Can you have the next, next video, please? So he has also clocked one minute, 45 seconds. Okay. Yeah, the, this video. So Heras there of Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Certainly one of the outsiders coming to this final. Sri Lanka, though, done well Johnson here at these Kinsen, championships. Jinson Johnson looked good last night. Semi-final winner. Came fifth at the uh, Commonwealth Games in the 1500 early this year when he broke the Indian record. Manjit Singh. So India with two finalists here. And there his Abubakar Abdallah. Semi-final winner. Ran away from the field last night, and he celebrates his birthday tonight. He's 22. The final of the men's 800 meters. So the first bend here running. Want you to watch Manji Singh? Please go. Lines. If Abraham Rotic is anything like at his best, he'd run away from this field. Once ran 143.13, that was when he was a teenager. He led home a world-class field at a race in the Diamond League in Monaco, but it's worth pointing out that was six years ago. Has not been in anything like that form since, although he did win his semi-final looking as if he had plenty in hand, and that is Rotic there wearing 137, just running on the shoulder there of Abdullah, the birthday boy. Now, Abdullah is all strength, hasn't perhaps got the speed of others, but believe me, he keeps on going. Really intriguing final, this one. And it is Abdullah who leads at the moment, but look how comfortable Rotic is in second place, tracking his every move. The Bahrainian is in the perfect position to strike this is gearing up for a fabulous last 300 metres. The two men at the front look as though they're poised and ready for business. Well, it was 53.75 at the bell, so in all honesty, it wasn't that fast. But now kicking on is Abdullah, the birthday boy, and he'll make it a test of strength as much as he can. He did this last night. He's kicked now, following behind him. 
You can see there Abraham Rotic and now Johnson moving into position. And Johnson has got a real kick finish. But it's Abdallah who showed real strength last night. Rotic, can he accelerate? And coming down the outside is Manjit Singh. And Singh may get there. The Indian's going to win it. He came here perhaps as the number two. Johnson comes through. In now, this I, we quote it as a physical strength. Impossible thing that both 1972 Olympic medal winner as well as 2018 Asian Games gold medal winner, both are uh, underdogs, unknown, but one won it with the mental strength, the other one won it with the physical strength. Now I'm going back to my 1982 Asian Games. I show you how I was mentally and physically prepared. Can we show the next slide, please? You can click here. Well, my current putter, I think I'm lined up right, and you know the ball just continues to miss the cup. During a round, I, I do not want to putt all that often. I'm mostly three putting. I struggle with alignment. Uh, I seem to. So the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium into the yeah. second day with several heats and six finals being worked out. This was the first of the finals, the 800 meters men. All eyes set on Charles Moromia running in lane seven and Pala in Chalala Virat running in lane one. They're just taking the bend, keeping to their lanes, but once they come to the back straight, they will go for the inside of the track. It's in the earlier lap, but here in the last lap of the race, coming to the final bend, Charles Boromio getting past the Iraqi and with the Korean just behind them, but it's Charles Boromio putting in a tremendous part in the last few 50 meters. Boromio increasing his lead with a fantastic finish and looks all set to come within the Asian record. Charles Boromio of India coming in amidst the applause, winning and the Korean tipping yeah. the Iraqi for the silver medal. Thank you. And Charles Boromio has a good finish. These, stayed these with three the videos front has runner. some meaning. And then broke yeah. away. Can we stop? Yeah. Can we go to the next slide? All three of us were underdogs, unknown, but one person had a mental you know, strength, the other person had a physical strength. I, for example, I had a lot of you know, physical trainers, the doctors, and nutritionists in 1982 when we, when we first, second time we hosted the Asian Games. This was the results. What is the common? Why do I show? I'm not here to sh you know, display my activities. Well, many of you are here. Can we have a next slide, please? Okay. You know, all three of us, are, uh, we, are, we are not knowing what was our strength, what are our weaknesses. We were not knowing whether we will win or not. Okay. Can we have a next slide? The sports injury are the major part, all three of us, David, Manjit, myself, we had several injuries, like previous speakers, you know, in cricket and other people when they spoke about, you know, specific to the shoulder, specific to the fast bowling, specific to, you know, uh, our biomechanic. Today, this type of, you know, seminars, knowledge sharing will help India to win medal 19, 20, 24, 28. Uh, we all of us are working. I think Sunil Shetty is here. We are working for 2032 Olympics. Can we win 10 gold medal? That's the Kelo India's highest dream target. And that is what today I can just pinpoint to you, because all of you are learned people. And I just put how do you overcome the mind training? These are the, some other things that you can have a positive image of other things, managing the anxiety effectively and manage the emotional part. When a sportsman are injured, I am injured, I was injured. And when I'm injured, how do I overcome? It is you, all of us who are sitting here, we will make a difference. 
when the person is injured. When the, the physically, it is very, 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 very difficult to overcome because that is the prime time that I have in front of me, seven to eight years, you know, four, four to five years, other things. So it is very, very difficult time for a sportsman when they are injured and the, these injuries can overcome because, because some of the small tools which these earlier speakers and the speakers who are going to come speak about it, okay? And this is what I have today for you. A sportsman should be mentally, physically strong to win a medal for country and for the own self. Thank you so much and all the best.